Hour of the Wolf Review, air date December 26th, 2022. Holly jolly. It's freaking cold in here. Kindred, take one. I'm Dan Persons, and this is my Hour of the Wolf Review. I'll say this right up front, I have not read Octavia Butler's novel, Kindred. I think I'm going to have to now in order to figure out what got lost in its transition from book to miniseries form, which is now available for streaming on Hulu. From a brief skim of the Wikipedia entry, I can tell that the producers took considerable liberties with the source material, all apparently to spin this tale out into several seasons, a la The Handmaid's Tale or Game of Thrones. The basic premise is the same. A young woman, Dana, played by Mallory Johnson, finds herself being repeatedly pulled backward in time to a plantation in Antebellum, Maryland. She drags along with her Kevin, played by Micah Stock, in the novel Her Husband, and transformed in the show for no good reason that I can see to a recently met boyfriend. Confronted with an impossible situation, dealing with the brutish plantation owner, his fragile wife, and an accident-prone son, and those accidents are a major factor in Dana's time travel abilities, the couple does exactly what I would do in that situation, and probably what most people would do, make the worst possible decisions imaginable. Lives are imperiled, and slaves suffer for Dana's errors. Where the show does stand out is in exploring how disastrous time travel to a particularly fraught period of history would be for the unprepared. If only the producers had committed more fully to the concept. Again, my quick skim of Wikipedia suggests that Butler went even darker and more brutal than the show's creators would dare. And that hesitancy plays throughout all elements of the show— the filmmaking by multiple directors is proficient, but doesn't really rise above what you'd find in any decent TV show. Dana's and Kevin's reactions to their predicament are oddly muted. Again, you can understand why a black woman finding herself in 1815 Maryland might be stymied to near paralysis. My strategy would be to dig a hole in the forest and cover myself with rocks and twigs. But it's not the best move for strong drama. Micah Stock's Deer in the Headlights portrayal of Kevin is especially problematic. The show does rally somewhat toward the latter episodes with some particularly good character interactions, but then it feels rushed, as if the producers realized too late that a course correction was needed. Kindred's showrunner has been giving interviews begging people to watch, so apparently the reception has not been as enthusiastic as they had hoped. Now, admittedly, ratings are not an accurate measure of quality, but I have to admit that I'm not awaiting a second season of Kindred with bated breath. It's a respectable effort, but it may be needed to be less respectable. Thank you for listening. If you want to write me, send that email to hotwolfreviews at upstartcompany.com. And remember, if you love science fiction, fantasy, enchantment, and the imagination, listen to Jim Freund's Hour of the Wolf most every Monday at 9 p.m. ET on WBAI 99.5 FM in New York and streaming on WBAI.org or through TuneIn. The Hour of the Wolf Reviews is produced by me, Dan Persons, recorded at the studios of Upstart Company, and is an Hour of the Wolf production. Take care.